Hello everyone, my name is Otavi Santana and today let's go deep on documentation. On the previous video, I mentioned how important documentation is to any aspect of the software development quality. I mentioned three types of documentation. The first one is README, where it has the context, why does this product exist, uh, the highlight, how to use it, how to style it. Uh, then we moved to change log, where we have the whole chains on the, on the source code repository split by versions, where this version has subcategories, uh, such as what was added, what was changed, what was removed and fixed in our version. And finally, we mentioned the documentation into the code, where we need to put the why this documentation does exist, uh, some information around uh, business perspective and decision. And today, let's go an, uh, a step beyond on documentation, the code with Javadoc. As you can see here, I have a regular project repository. I have my readme here. It has a couple of information about my project. As I mentioned, I prefer to use AskDoc, especially because it has more capabilities and more features. Uh, for example, the table of context, I don't need to do it manually. I just need to put this line of code, talk, T-O-C, auto, and then it will generate automatically to me this table of context here. I will create a simple sample here with team players where I will start to put documentation in my domain on my package so i will come here and i will create the package info java i will come here and i will put uh, the soccer team domain here the the idea is to explain why does this feature or this domain exist? So, on my case here, uh, the soccer team, uh, where we have a team that has 11 players or something like that. So, please explain briefly about that domain. The, the main idea is to not, to not mention something obvious, like, okay, this is a package, or something that belongs to the language itself. A developer is able to know about the language outside. Go to think that's, uh, about things that's essential and what they need to know. On this case, my business perspective. You might know how to do comments on Java code is similar to C++ or several language. Uh, but remember, we have more features on the Java doc. For example, if I wish I able to put the author here, like author Otavi Java. Right now, everybody knows that I am the, the creator of this package and the version where it was released for example, version 0.0.1. And then if I wish, since, since each version. So imagine that I have a class and I want to put more uh, features. So I want to put more details when it was added. I put here in the package info, remember Javadoc belongs to the class. Package info is a class and I able to use uh, 
this information inside a class as well. Let's move on to our first class. Remember, the domain is about soccer team. So let's cre create my entity, the player. So the player will have a string as a name, a um, city, and finally the score, int score. Okay, here I able to put some descriptions as I mentioned for you. Uh, a unit of soccer or something like that. Remember, the idea is not to put useless information or the information that belongs to the, the Java structure, such as this is a class. Of course, it doesn't make sense to put that. So put Y and the domain. As I mentioned with package info, am I able to put uh, the version, the author, and things like that. Uh, on this case here, let's create a constructor uh, where I will hide, okay? Then create getter setters, actually, actually just getter. And then let's create my uh, factor method of the player. So public static player of uh, string name, string city, and finally in score. Where I can put documentation here such as create a player, but if doubt team, as you can see here, my ID, ID helps me to create a pattern where I able to put some definitions and more description on it. Uh, name, the player name, please, put the uh, uh, put the full name the city where the player was born the score a new instance of player okay here I able to use another uh, javadoc feature like throw Imagine right now that I don't want to return or to create a player with new values. So I will throw a new point of exception when name or city are new. Or illegal throws, illegal argument exception when the score is negative. Of course, it does not make sense to create a player with negative score. So I able to put the validation here. Required not new. Name is, oops, required. Uh, let's use the power of, oops, copy paste, name, city, and then put the validation on this case if score is negative less than the one i will throw an illegal argument exception a player cannot have negative score and then I will return my player where I have my name, I have my city, I have my score. Of course, if you wish to use a builder partner instead, uh, go ahead. I'm using here just to, to simplify uh, how to use documentation. Uh, 
I put here the description about my class. If I, I wish I able to use C uh, to a user check it out something. So in this case, I want my user check to check the, the constructor, the player, the method uh, of to oops, please check this this method. It might be valuable to you check to create player. I have one method that is increase score. So int go where I will score plus plus and then return. So I will put documentation when the player does a go it increase the score and return the result the score with the new goal okay I will fix it and that is it so right now I have a brief documentation of my entity the next step is to create my aggregator so I will create my team and my team will have a collection of players Once I usually don't change my team my team does not change the name I will create this one as multiple this for the four I'm gonna use record so my record will have the name and my player list players I can put my validation public team where I will check if my name is not new so my name is required I will do the exactly same thing with my players so players uh, I will create my documentation here uh, I just will go back to player uh, I will to put something like this so scenes version 002 so I release a new version and from this from now on you are able to use it if you are using something below 002 you're not able to use uh, team and I put a validation I can use and explore the power of documentation here as well so create a team the team's name that is valid to FIFA and the players players of the team that should not be higher than 11 I will throw an exception and the point exception when name or players are new and I should throw an illegal argument exception when it has more than 11 players okay right now I have my constructor I put a description if it is makes sense about player so the I guess I don't need it I mean is a common thing is okay you don't pull documentation on this case I have my players are you overwrite to return uh, a modifiable list then I will create 
a new method. So public void add player player. So I will put a documentation here. Remember, the main focus right now is not the implementation itself, but the documentation. Uh, I can do a next video to talk only about the implementation and the tests and how to use tests such as Jupyter, 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 and so on. Add a new player on the team, the player, throw when player is new, throws, illegal argument exception when it has more than 11 players okay what did i do i created java doc if you have pre uh, it's pretty similar to c c plus plus to put comments however it has more features so as you can see here i used the add author the add c uh, I can use the link as I put here. Let me check somewhere. Uh, add new add link player on the team. Right now, I will uh, execute the Java doc and then check the result and check how it will run on my HTML file. So I go to target, also I'm using my Maven project. I go to the site, API docs. I will check my index. As you can see, I have my search capability. If you are using something higher than 11, on my case, I'm using Java 17, it's fine. I have my scenes, my version, the author, my information here, the player, a unit of soccer. Then I put the description here. It had the first paragraph and when I come here, it has the information. I have my factor method where I put my creator player, but if there are team, that is the parameters. There are the parameters here where I have the name, the city, the score, uh, the return and the exception. So I throw a new point of exception in illegal argument exception. And as you can see, if I want to know more about the exception, I able to click and then check it out what this exception is. Um, let's go to the package again. I will return to my team. That is my add. I used the link, right? So add a new player. If I wish, when I click there, it will go on my player. Okay, so I able to use and explore the capabilities of Javadoc. And that is much more. So today the main idea was to show how powerful Javadoc is to increase the quality around documentation. Thank you, bye bye.